Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Pearl of Fire video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 2nd of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Excelsior GFS and East Jet Ensembles. Then I'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that gets us into the second half of June. I should get time back for you in a moment, just to say that the first video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, and we've also released the EC extended 30 day forecast for UK and the rest of Europe as well. Please check out those two bits if you like to do that. Like, share, and subscribe on the videos. And we thank you so very much, everybody, for uh, doing that. Now, we're halfway through our charity appeal for Rainbows Hospice. So, Rainbows is my local children's hospice in the East Midlands region. They're based in uh, Loughborough, which is in Leicestershire. They cover the entire East Midlands, uh, East Midlands region, including uh, Northamptonshire, where I happen to be, where we are in the Towers. Um, they provide vital care for for uh, children and also young people with life limiting and terminal conditions. They do an incredible job um, looking after these children and their families as well, providing care, you know, not only for, for the children and the young people, but also for their uh, families also. And, uh, you know, they don't just provide care within the hospice, they also take the hospice out into the community, to people's homes, and also into the hospital environment as well. It's an unbelievable, unbelievable facility that they have there at Rainbows. I went to visit couple of weeks ago and the things that they have there just blow your mind they've got swimming pools cinemas um you know uh, they've got a, a sensor room where they can uh, help to stimulate uh, be be uh, children, you know, when they've got um, cognitive uh, issues in terms of uh, in terms of vision and also in terms of sound as well. It's a it's an amazing amazing facility, but it costs a lot of money to fund this. So it cost them six point five million pounds last year alone to fund. Uh, uh, rainbows and of course only 20% of the back comes from the National Health Service, the rest comes from uh, voluntary uh, you know, uh, donations and what not, so they are 80% uh, voluntary funded which means uh, they rely on very kind and generous people so we're raising money for rainbows in memory of my mum who passed away on the 27th of may 2022 and uh, we set up a just giving page and can you believe it we set the target i set the target at 500 pounds we've already gone past that we're up to uh, 550 uh, pounds so i've raised the target again we're up to 750 um now thank you thank you thank you so much to everybody who has, has donated uh, at this point we had an incredible donation on last night's live stream from my good friend jack Lowe. thank you so so much jack of that amazing donation i have i have put that through already to uh the just giving page thank you so so much uh my friend so if you'd like to give a donation to uh rainbows in memory of mrs p by mum, then uh you can come to the uh just giving page and you, you know you can donate what you want all donations are great you will see big or small uh every every, every penny house every little house as the same goes so thank you thank you thank you so much to each Every one of you for doing that. We've got the link in the description to both Just Giving and Rainbows. Uh, we're going to be live streaming on Saturday. We're going to have a charity live stream between 6 and 9 p.m. So uh, it's going to be epic. We're going to have guests coming on uh, to chat to me. And uh, it's going to be a three hour marathon. So if you're around the channel on Saturday evening between 6 and 9 p.m., you will see me live streaming and uh, trying to raise some money for Rainbows in memory of my mum on the one year anniversary of when she passed away and i thank you so much everybody for all of the support you know it's absolutely incredible and unbelievable thank you thank you thank you to all of you <clears throat> Okay, let's start off then uh, with the central temperature of CT is uh, now sitting at 12.3, which is 1.2 degrees above 61 to 99 average as provisional to yesterday to the 22nd of May. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at Harrogate today. The red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for Harrogate. We're starting off. More or less above average. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to stay above average pretty much from start to finish. Not excessively so. It doesn't look excessively start hot. But it does look as though 
are going to be on the warmer than average side. You will notice the thick green line, which is the GFS Midnight Operational Run. That actually does become a cooler ensemble member later on as we go through the first week of June. Although, it looks like it's backed off a little bit, that northerly <laughs> outbreak which it's going for yesterday. That looked quite strange, didn't it, that northerly yesterday. But it looks like the GFS Operational has backed off that a little bit. We will go through chart data in a moment. Lots of dry weather, of course, to come through the rest of May. A little bit more weather precipitation into June. But that's a relatively dry ensemble, actually, from beginning to end. Temperature anomalies from the 23rd of May to the 31st, coming out a little bit above average in the north, a little bit below average in the south. So not, a, not an excessively uh, warm period. And precipitation anomalies from the 23rd 31st May, that's the big talking point, um, significantly dry on average. Notice how wet it's going to be down across Spain and Portugal, though. And even into North Africa, very unusual pattern, this. But uh, we're going to be very substantially drier than uh, normal through uh, the next week or so. Latest wind from that from Earth, NorthSchool.net shows that high pressure is still ridging in from off the Atlantic. High is centred in the Atlantic, but it's ridging into Western and also to northern parts of Europe, bringing plenty of dry weather with it. Right, so let's go through the chart days. Remember, this is latest UK met Europe is looking big night on Friday. High pressure, more or less slap bang over top of the country, mostly dry, fine and warm. That high pressure continues to dominate into Saturday before gradually pulling out to the west of the northwest through Sunday and Monday, allowing cooler air to come in around the uh, side of the high pressure. So down comes both north or northeasty winds. Temperatures will be dropping as we go through the bank holiday weekend, therefore, although not as cold with that as yesterday's UK Met Euro run where we was bringing the minus 5 Celsius isotherm from uh, Arctic sources. We don't go that cold um, with it, but it certainly turns cooler over the bank holiday weekend. I would turn cloudy as well. These northeast winds probably dragging in quite a lot of cloud from the northeast, maybe in some showers into eastern parts of the country as well. However, we are more or less still under high pressure, so most places would have a dry bank holiday weekend, which I suppose is the main thing me people can still get out and about, doesn't it? Uh, I can't again with high pressure in control over the country on Friday. Into the bank holiday weekend, that high pressure remained dominant and then starts moving up towards Scandinavia later in the bank holiday weekend, bringing in perhaps a little bit more of an easterly wind. That should still be relatively dry and warm, actually. The difference between easterlies and north northeasterlies at this time of the year are quite significant, actually. So, so an easterly at the end of May is going to be relatively warm, to be honest, particularly so for western parts of the country. The GFS midnight run, again, that area of high pressure in control for Friday and into the bank holiday weekend as well. However, later in the bank holiday weekend, high pressure just begins to ease out to the west of uh, Scotland and Ireland, starts to allow something a little bit cooler coming from the northwest. Although it's still pretty dry and warm, I think, through the course of the bank holiday period. Heading up towards day 10, we then start sending high pressure further northwest. We'll see get an area of low pressure going over Germany and the low country. So that starts to drift into the uh, North Sea potentially bringing showers and or longer spells of rain in across England and Wales. So heavy downpours in places uh, with that likely. And we get an area of low pressure and right over top of the country by the 5th of June. Look at this. We're under an area of low. Um, <laughs> that obviously turns much more unsettled through the first week of June. However, I suspect it's probably a bit of a synoptic outlier. The GFS 6 set again with the high pressure reaching in from the Atlantic on Friday, bringing lots of dry weather with high pressure pulls out to our west over Bank Holiday Weekend. And back to that sort of northerly idea with the GFS 6 set actually over the Bank Holiday Weekend. So that's not completely gone away from me. Um, you know, from the uh, from the uh, GFS operation. Let's have a quick look, shall we, at the uh, at the uh, ensembles, GFS ensembles for the six set week. And again, yeah, you see it, but, but it's going for a bit of a plunge there uh, on the six set suite. We didn't have that on the midnight run suite. So again, we do see a little bit of a northerly plunge there. Over the bank holiday uh, weekend with GFS 6. It doesn't last very long. Remember, it's a bit of recovery that's going to take place. Spoiler alert. Um, right, so beyond that, the high pressure goes up to Scandinavia. Wind goes back into the east, which is a warmer wind direction, but still a bit showery with low pressure just to our south and southwest. And then into the extended range, we're back under high pressure, so mostly dry and warm as we go through the first week of June.
If you enjoyed the video, please take you a like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Well Business. We thank you so very much for doing that. Make sure you tell your friends as well about Rainbow's uh, Hospice, the incredible work that they do for uh, children and young people with life limiting and terminal conditions. And uh, ask them if they could possibly donate to this wonderful cause via our Just Giving page. And um, we thank you so much, everybody. Uh, for doing that. Tell your friends about the um, live stream we're doing on Saturday as well for Rainbow between 6 and 9pm in memory of my mum, uh, Mrs P. GM once more with high pressure over the top of the country on Friday. Lots of dry, fine and warm weather. High pressure continues to rain and control as we go through Bank Holiday weekend. So you know hint of an orderly there from uh, the GM over the Bank Holiday. Um, high pressure just is maintained right over the country even up to day temperature second of June. ECM also much of a much for Friday into Saturday. Not any side really of a northerly uh, later on in back holiday weekend either. Just keep high pressure centre through the country, mostly dry and warm with the ECM as well. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tomeshow.com. We will quickly go through this. Because there's not, <laughs> not going to be much to see. So there we go. Virtually dry across the whole country for the next 10 days. Goodness gracious. And uh, these are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today. For day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 2nd of June. 29 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure sitting over and to the north of the country. Winds coming in from the east, mostly dry, with that probably a few showers perhaps in some of these regions, but most places dry. Member control and the operational run have 22 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure more centred over the top of the country. So again, that is going to be mostly dry. Both options involve high pressure very strongly, so it is a dry outlook up to day 10. Any signs of a change at day 14? Let's have a look. These are the options on the table. For day 14, gets us to the 7th of June, 21 members of the ECM ensemble still with high pressure dominating over and to the west and northwest of the country, mostly dry winds coming in from an easterly direction uh, with that. Could be a few showers in the southeast, which will be main dry. 21 with high pressure again, bridging in from the west, lots of dry weather with that. And then a minority option of nine, take the high pressure further out into the middle of the Atlantic, and uh, set up an area of low pressure across the north and the west of Europe. And obviously that is the most unsettled option. That would be properly unsettled with spells of rain, quite cool temperatures as well. But, 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 big but, there's only nine doing that. So at uh, day 10 and 14, the vast majority option is for high pressure to be ruling the roost. CFSB2 finally these are 500 millibar height and always breaking down into week pins. The first week pin will take us from the 23rd of May to the 29th. High pressure will be in control more or less over top of the country in the week ahead. Week 2 is going to be the 30th of May to the 5th of June. Again, we see high pressure well and truly a dominant week three <laughs> is going to be the 6th to the 12th of June. Again, high pressure remains anchored and rooted over the top of the country. And then finally, week four, you've guessed it. It's the 13th to the 19th of June and no change. High pressure just to our north and northeast. Low pressure to our south and west. Not especially dry and potentially very warm with that bringing up wind from a southeasterly direction. June drought, maybe, if the CFS is to be believed. We will see, and time, as ever, will tell. If you've enjoyed the video, please thank you, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this or my video. Don't forget to tell friends about Gals Web, it's asked them to subscribe too. Thank you so much for doing that. And uh, please tell your friends, family, neighbour, doctor, vicar, Everybody to uh, subscribe or to check out uh, Rainbow's Hospice. So, uh, as I said, they're providing vital care for children and young people with life limiting and terminal conditions. Um, doing an amazing job. Thank you so much, everybody, for that. And uh, if you can, please give a donation via our Just Giving page to Rainbow's. And at the same time, remember my mum, the amazing Mrs P. Thank you so much, everybody. 
Um, right, we're done. Just tell, coming up tomorrow, we're going to start off 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We'll have the uh, USA X30 forecast. And if that wasn't enough, there will be a uh, 10 to 14 day again tomorrow. Please keep checking back to the channel for more. For this video, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.